today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cinematic modern slideshow inside After Effects. Hello guys, this is Randy from Rans Graphics and welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. So without any further ado, let me show you guys what we are going to be making today. start by creating a composition and I will name it shape nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and eight seconds duration click OK I will go to layer create a new solid and the color is light blue click OK I will go to composition create a new composition and I will change the width to about three eighty four the height is the same 1080 and the frame rate is 30 frames per second 8 seconds duration i will click ok i will rename this one as shape one then highlight the shape drag it down to my timeline so i will go to composition and create another composition i will change this to 1920 again and i will click ok Highlight the shape and click D on my keyboard to duplicate it four times. Highlight the shape one to shape five. Drag it down to your timeline. Press S on your keyboard for the scale. Disable the scale proportion. Make sure that your play it is at the beginning of your timeline and create a keyframe. Change the value here from one hundred to zero. And move your player to about 2 seconds and change the value to 100. And again highlight it all and click P on your keyboard for the position. Change this to 576. The shape 3 I will change it to 192. Shape 4 I will change this to 1344. I will change this to 1728. So when we scrub our playhead, you will see that there is a nice animation. I will highlight all the shape and go to layer pre I will rename it the shape animate. Pull the attributes into the new composition and click OK. I will go to layer. I will go to layer styles. I will add drop shadow. I will open drop shadow. Change this to white. The opacity I will change it to 60%. And the size I will change this to 60. So now when we scrub this one, we also have a nice drop shadow here so all i have to do is to close this one i will highlight this one and go to effects and presets and generate fill i'll just make this shape color black i will create new composition and i will name it placeholder one Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and the duration still eight seconds. I will click OK. I will open the assets, open the footage folder, and I will open the video clips. I will drop down this footage on my timeline. I will close this one. I will open the particles folder and drop it down to my timeline. 
I'll change the blending mode here to add click my keyboard T for the opacity change this to 50% and go to layer create a new adjustment layer go to effects and preset color correction and just add tritone I will make the blend with original here to 80% I will go to layer again, create a new adjustment layer and I will go to effects and preset color correction I will add levels I will just change the output white probably 184 I will go to composition, create a new composition and I will name it main 1 1920 by 1080p, 3 frames per second and this time I will change this to 16 seconds click ok I will go to my project panel drop this placeholder one into my timeline I will go to composition again and composition settings I will just change the duration here to 8 seconds click ok I will highlight this placeholder go to effects and preset I will add color correction hue and saturation I will change the master saturation to about negative 100 go back to effects and preset and add color correction levels change the output right here by 183 gamma is probably 0.48 the output block is 37 I will go again to effects and preset blur and sharpen fast box blur I will change the iteration 1 and the blur radius is 4 Go again to effects and preset SILIs and go to motion tile. Check the mirror edges and make sure that the playhead is in here. Create a keyframe, make it 360. And go your playhead to about 2 seconds and 15 frames. and change this tile center to 960 we will add an expression by clicking this stopwatch in here while holding your keyboard now and here I have an expression that I only have to copy I will include it into my project file so you can have it I'll just copy then paste it in here Next, I'm gonna go and open my project panel and drop down this shape merge one into my timeline. Click S on my keyboard for the scale. I'll just make this size 307 and I will duplicate this one. I will open the image folder and drop down this shadow. I will also toggle the switches in here. I will make the placeholder 3D. I will go to layer. I will create new solid. I will just create a background. So I will name it BG. And the color of the background must be gray. It's up to you guys if you want uh, another color. But to me, gray is good to me. I will highlight this shape merge one just below the shadow and click T on my keyboard. Make sure that the play it is at the beginning of your timeline and click the stopwatch here to create a keyframe and move your play to about 2 seconds and 15 frames and make this value 0 toggle the switches again in here and make this alpha mat so as we can see when we scrub our playhead highlight the shadow click S on your keyboard for the scale you have to disable the scale proportion here 
change the value here to 455 and the y value change it to 255 Parent this shape merge one on top, parent it to shape merge one at the bottom. Then highlight all these layers, except the BG, and go to edit and duplicate it. Drag it up just above the shadow. Highlight the copied placeholder one. Go to effects and control. Delete the hue and saturation. And also the fast box blur. And then I will highlight this merge one, click S on my keyboard for the scale. I will just change the scale here to about negative 659. Then I will parent this shape merge one again to shape merge one at the bottom. Then I will highlight these two shape merge, go my play to about 15 frames, press open bucket key to move it. And again I will highlight all these layers except the shadow and then go to edit, duplicate it. I will drag it again just above the shadow, highlight the placeholder, go to effects and control, take this level out. So what is left here is the motion tile and again I will highlight the shape merge one at the bottom and press S on my keyboard, change the size here to about 424. This one here I will change it to negative 659. Highlight these two sub merge one layers and move my plate to about one second. Press open bucket key to move the layers. I will go back to my project panel, open the assets folder, open the footage and I will drop this scratch footage on my timeline. I will toggle switches in here. I will change the blending mode to add. Press S on my keyboard for the scale. Make sure that the playhead must be at the beginning and change this to 250. Then move your playhead at the end of your timeline and make this 150. I will also press T on my keyboard for the opacity and maybe I will just put this opacity to about 80%. And again I will toggle switches in here and I will make it a 3D layer. I will highlight the shape merge one, go to edit and duplicate it. Move this up on the scratch and make this scratch layer an alpha mat. I will go again to my footage and drop down these line grids on my timeline. And also the particles I will open the folder and drop down these particles. I will change the blending mode to add I will highlight again the shape merge one, go to edit and duplicate it. I will just put this shape merge one again on top of the particle one and change this to alpha mat. I will also toggle switches mode here and make the particles a 3D layer. Go to layer, create a new camera. I just use 50mm preset camera. I will click OK and I will go back again to layer, create a new null object. I will make this null object a 3D layer and click on my keyboard P for the position. Move your player at the beginning of the timeline. Change the position here to 1070. Click the stopwatch to create a keyframe and move your player at the end of the timeline. Change the value here to negative 218. So I will close this ones. I will probably just change this main one to media one. I will go to composition, create a new composition and I will name it main. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second and I will change this to 16 seconds. And I will click OK. Create a new folder and I will name it scene one. 
I will highlight some of the compositions in here, drag it down to my scene 1 folder, except the main. And I will again create another new folder and I will name it scene 2. I will open the scene 1 folder, go to media 1, duplicate it, drop it down to my scene 2 folder, shape merge 1, I will duplicate it, drag it down to my scene 2 folder. Also the placeholder one, I will duplicate it. Drag it down to my scene 2 folder. I will close this scene 1 folder and open this scene 2 folder. Double click my mouse to open it up. I will open placeholder 2, delete this footage, open the folder assets, go to footage, video clips and I will drop down this footage in my timeline. Press S on my keyboard for the scale, reduce the scale here. Open the media 2, press the keyboard out. And hold it and highlight the placeholder one change it to placeholder 2 this placeholder one change it to placeholder 2 and also the shape merge one change it to shape merge 2 hold the shape merge one change it to shape merge 2 Highlight this shape merge to press R for the rotation, change it to 90 degrees. Also, highlight this shape merge to click R for the rotation, probably change this to 45 degrees. The shape merge 3, click R and also change this to 90 degrees. So, when we scrub our playhead, there you go. So now we will open the main, open this scene 1 folder and drop down the media 1. And also open the scene 2 folder and drop down the media 2 on top of the media 1. Open the assets, go to footage, drop down this light leak to your timeline. Toggle the switches in here, make the blending mode add and press T on your keyboard for the opacity. Change it to 50%. Move your playhead to about 8 seconds and highlight this media too. Press open bracket E to move it. You want to add a text on it. All you have to do is to go back to media 1 and drop down this text 1 on your timeline and move this to about 2 seconds and 15 frames. Press open bracket E to move it. Open the media 2 and drop this text to, to your timeline. Also move your playhead to about 2 seconds and 15 frames. Press open bracket key to move your layer. And we will move our play at the beginning. And we will play it. Let's see. There you go. This is what we got. So guys, our tutorial is done and I hope that you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment and press the notification bell. And also those new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and even share to your friends and press the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading in the next coming days. So my thoughts for today guys is that don't limit yourself, aim high. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. God bless.